Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with an unboxing. It's a random lot I got on eBay, but um, <laughs> had one of my bucket list items on it, so I kind of got it, and it's funny because it's the same bucket list item as the last bucket list item, so you know what I'm talking about, or you will. So the thing that made this really weird was it was an estate, um, and I'm going to kind of fold out the person that um, it used to belong to. Um, but they got these beads from originally from Happy Mango Beads and the order was originally back in 2013. I didn't go to Happy Mango Beads. I've never shopped there before to see if any of these items were still available, but the seller included them to let me know what they were. So these are the things that I got, um, which the br giant brass bead was crossed out because it wasn't in this lot, but this is what the original owner paid for them and um, I did not pay that. I paid a very small fraction of that for these beads. So um, I wanted, to, like if you want, you can know the exact same name, but I'm gonna say them. You can look at the screen um, shot from them, but. Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with an unboxing. It's a random lot I got on eBay, but um, <laughs> had one of my bucket list items on it. So I kind of got it and it's funny because it's the same bucket list item as the last bucket list item. So you know what I'm talking about, or you will. So the thing that made this really weird was it was an estate. Um, and I'm going to kind of fold out the person that um, it used to belong to. Um, but they got these beads from originally from Happy Mango Beads. And the order was originally back in 2013. I didn't go to Happy Mango Beads. I've never shopped there before to see if any of these items were still available, but the seller included them to let me know what they were. So these are the things that I got, um, which the br giant brass bead was crossed out because it wasn't in this lot. But this is what the original owner paid for them. And um, I did not pay that. I paid a very small fraction of that for these beads. So. Um, I wanted, to, like, if you want, you can know the exact same name, but I'm going to say them. You can look at the screen um, shot from them. But these are the old, what they're saying is old Arabic red glass prayer beads. Um, and remember, these were originally ordered in 2013. So, yeah, eight years ago, almost nine years ago, because it was in the beginning of 2013, they were old then. <laughs> so they're certainly old now. Um, so firmly in the vintage camp and they, you can tell they're vintage because just the wash has worn from the, um, the glass. So they're, they're Czech glass. Um, they must have been either sent to a different country, um, to be used as prayer beads there or emulated the prayer beads. I don't know very much about them because it just says old. So, and the original owner paid over $20 for this strand. So it's gorgeous, beautiful. Um, we have some Celadon green round tabular recycled glass beads, Indonesia, 14 millimeter. These are not really my style, but they're still pretty. I like the color a lot. I don't know. Um, maybe one day I'll find the pro the project that these were meant for, but I don't know what I would do th with them. They're gorgeous, though. Um, this is the bucket list item, and the only reason I bought this this lot because for the whole lot, I paid less than what this strand goes for in most places. So we got another strand of the Molly wedding beads. So if you didn't watch my other um, video where I talked about these beads, these are really old, like vintage. The other strand I have is from the 1930s and this looks to be about the same date just from the wear on these beads and just like the grime. <laughs> but um, if, as you can see, like the finish is coming off of some of them. These are collector beads. They're not really, like I could use them for sure. Am I going to? Probably not, but look at these stripes. Oh my gosh. But anyway, these are probably from around the 1930s and um, they were made in at that point in Bohemia, which is now, I guess, Czech Republic, and um, shipped to African countries to be used in wedding jewelry. 
And now they're being, you know, they're just gorgeous. They're just, they're expensive beads now and they're collector's items. Well, at least to me, they're a collector's item. Other people might use them. And if I ever come across them for really good prices, I'm probably going to pounce on them because they're my, they're my bucket list item. They're so gorgeous. But these are so different from the ones that I got at Bernie's earlier this year. Those are last month. These are flat and smaller and, um, those were more bulbous and larger, but these are gorgeous and I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. I love them so much. Um, we also have these pink, and they call them salmon pink triangular glass beads, 10 millimeter. And these were originally uh, uh, from Happy Mango, 5760, the strand. Um, I didn't even pay that for the entire lot. And these are worth more than that now. Um, these are so pretty. I normally probably wouldn't have looked twice at these uh, in a lot or in as like a selling point, but they're so pretty. I just love that pink. It's gorgeous. Um, we have some brick red bicone faceted recycled glass beads. They're saying these are from Indonesia originally about $10. So, and that was eight years ago. We know things have gone up in price since then. <laughs> These are so pretty. I didn't realize they were this big and it makes me so much happier. These are gonna go, like they're probably gonna go with my African glass, even though I know they're not African because I just, they are that same feel, like same um, ethnic feel to them. I just love them. I didn't, like I said, I didn't know they were this big and I'm just so, I'm pleased as punch with those. And then two more things. We have these emerald green cone-shaped recycled glass beads from Indonesia. Now this is wrong because they're saying these are nine millimeter. There's no way on God's green earth that this is a nine millimeter bead. Do they mean like right here is nine millimeter? Because these are huge. Everything else fits with this, um, with this description, but the size and this, the, I got a huge bag of them. I don't know how many were originally supposed to be in the, the lot, but whatever was left, they said that the, these beads were originally 20, $22 and, and 40 cents. I don't know that I would have bought, I, I know I wouldn't have bought these for that much, but they're so gorgeous. Maybe I should make something with these um, for Christmas. My Christmas tutorials, like a whole bracelet of these big bad boys. That would be crazy, right? <laughs> that would be nuts, but they're so pretty. They look like, like little um, spaceships, like the old ones that used to sink into the ocean. I love them and they're very heavy, very hefty beads. And then last but not least, they say these are eight millimeters, so I don't even know if these are the right ones that were supposed to be on here. Blue with designs, glass beads, eight millimeter, and these used to be almost twelve dollars, but um, they're gorgeous. They're ten millimeter, but they're not. They're not eight millimeter, but they're so pretty, and they do remind me of African beads. But I don't think they are African. I I don't know for sure though. But again, they're at least eight years old. So I loved everything in here. Obviously, this one's my favorite, but I did have some pleasant surprises with um, these three. I knew I was going to love these, but with these three, I was very pleasantly surprised. So anyway, let me know which one was your favorite. Um, if you learned anything today, love to hear it. And uh, stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. They're knocked out yet again. Yeah, I love seeing your teeth. You stretching? Good, good girl. Boop. Boop your nose. Boop. Happy Sunday!